Hey, what's going on everybody? Steve here, Rake and Profit over at rakeandprofit.com. This phone is pretty squeezed in with the frame, so doing my best here to make this video happen. I'm here with my mom, Mama Profit. Say hello. Hello. And uh, we just went to a couple thrift stores. Where'd we go to? Goodwill and Savers. Goodwill and Savers. And when we went to Goodwill, we actually saw someone there already scanning the books. And where did he say that he knew me from? Um, was it Wallingford? No, he was from Wallingford, but he said he watched my videos on... Oh, I wasn't on, around. Oh, yeah. He's like, oh, you're on TikTok. Uh, but anyways, we found a bunch of stuff. And what's interesting is this guy, big shout out to whatever your name is from Wallingford. He had pretty much scooped up all the books. But right when we were checking out, I had only found a couple items. They were bringing one of those blue carts out. And show everybody what you found, Mom. And is that used or new? New. Brand new sealed. And I'm going to scan that right now. Oh, look, you got $104 in sales today. Yes. Congratulations. So I know I'm a little out of frame. Hey, look, our friends are passing by. So this right here is a 428,000 rank. And check this out. I don't know if you can see it. It's selling for $74.99, which means how much did you pay, Mom? $2. Oh, yeah, $2. Yeah, $2. So after the $2 that she paid, She's gonna make $53. And if you guys don't know my mom, she's been selling books for how many years now? Five? No, seven. Yeah, I think seven. Seven, isn't that crazy? And another item she found was this uh, the CD by, is this Taylor Swift? You probably don't even know. She just scans the barcodes and it'll tell her, but do you remember what this was selling for? A dollar. No, how much is it like selling for on Amazon? Oh, I, I think it was only around 14 something. 14 bucks, and a lot of times it's not worth it necessarily to buy items that are that cheap, but the thing about selling something like this, it, it was selling for 1346, it had a 206,000 rank. You know what's interesting? It says requires approval for you. Did you scan it on your phone? No. Yeah, it says requires approval. You might be gated on this for some reason. Because with CDs, this is something for you guys to know. You can get ungated in CDs, but there's a difference between being ungated in CDs and popular music. You might be, you might be restricted on this. So I might, I might have to sell this. I'll check it afterwards. But that, if you can sell that, that's going to give you back a six fifty seven. So you'd, you'd make five fifty. But I don't know if you're going to be able to sell that item. I'll keep it. Yeah. <laughs> She found a bunch of other CDs as well uh, and DVDs. These were like 20 or 30, but they were really high ranks. This was a pretty good find that you came across. Spider-Man Blu-ray, this was going for 17. Uh, these other ones were going for about 16 or 17. My mom's actually ungated in DVDs on Amazon. And you didn't buy wholesale invoices, did you? You were just grandfathered in? Right. Yeah. So uh, that's what she found today. We just went to two thrift stores in a consignment. I found, I'll share with you guys really quick, and I'm going to slide this over because it's a little hard to see. These are really nice. You want to be on the lookout for these. These are uh, Morel or Merrill. I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, size eight and a half men's earth style uh, hiking boots. These were $12.99. I got $2 off, so it came to $10.99, thanks to Mama Profit. And these will sell for probably about $35 to $40 shipping. It's the perfect time of year to sell those. Um, I came across this used DVD. Um, this will probably sell for around 20 bucks or so. The merchants are down at 13. Uh, FBA is at like 20 something, but I think I'll get $20 on that item. Here's another item I came across. I love selling Bible stuff. You ever seen this, Mom? This is a, uh, a no. Bible board game, which I thought was quite interesting. Bible trivia. It was $5. I checked all the pieces were in there, 5,400 questions. Uh, this was selling for around $30 or so, wow. believe it or not. Nice. Uh, this is old. 1984. Wow. So that is, I was born in 87, so that makes this, what, 38 years old? And then when we went to the consignment store, I found this right here. This is brand new sealed. It's sealed on all four edges. Can you guess, Mom, how much this is selling for? Probably around 49. Wow, 46. At really? the time of this recording, 220,000 rank. Good guess. How did you know? Just took a wild guess. Yeah, some of these uh, like Scrabble games and like, I guess, quote unquote, mass produced games, some of them, it's like either hit or miss. Some of them are 10, some of them are 50 because there's all different types of variations and models and years. This one's from 2009. So something like this, if you get it new sealed, it's definitely worth good money. Did you see what I found at Goodwill, Mom, this item? No, I don't know what it's going for. This is a router. I paid $15 for this. These things are hit or miss as well because the technology's changing so much if you could find something that's somewhat newer or it's not gonna be like 30 uh 
Well, if I paid fifteen, you know I wouldn't sell it. If it was, oh, if it I thought was, it said five. Okay. Yeah. So what do you think it's selling for? If I paid fifteen, what do you think is the minimum I would accept? Probably gonna be around forty or so. Yeah, you're right on the. Let me put the camera on Mama Profit. How did you know that? <laughs> but yeah, that'll make like, I don't know, 12 bucks or something, nothing crazy. Here's another Amazon item I came across. Be on a lookout for these guys. If you're uh, ungated, Con Air. These are like the little, uh, I don't know, they, they make the curls, I guess, in the girl's hair. Yeah. These, again, are hit or miss. Some of them are worth a little, some are worth a lot. This is on for 23, so I'll make like 550, but it was a really low rank in the, uh, the beauty category, so that'll flip pretty quickly. And the last item I found, nothing huge. This is one of those vintage uh, Boston Champion pencil sharpeners. These were probably in school back in the yeah, day, right? Yeah, they were. Yeah, these are the little <laughs> uh, sharpeners. Not, you know, not anything crazy. It was two ninety nine. This will probably sell for like, I don't know, fifteen plus shipping. But I just thought it was cool. It was unique. They are cool, and uh, it's definitely got some character. Oh, it's got some, you could smell the, the pencils in yeah. it. <laughs> Brings me back. But um, yeah, that was what we found today. You did all right. I mean, in total, you probably, you'll make 50 something on that. And then, fun. so you'll probably make like $75 profit or so. Yeah. I'll probably be at 15, 20, you know, I'm probably close to that as well. So, I mean, there's about an hour we spent. We both probably going to end up profiting around $70 or so. Of course, we do have to sell it. But that's why I always say to you guys, you know, you got to find items that are not only profitable, but also turn over. Because, you know, when you first started, remember you would buy books that were like $5 million and it was, oh, it's going to make $100 profit yeah. and then it never sells. Or maybe you see an item that is, maybe it's a vintage curler or something like that, that has a history of selling for 70 but there's only been one that have sold in the last six months. It's like, are you really going to make money? I try to buy items that have a market. All these DVDs, well, a lot of the DVDs are, you know, sub 100,000 rank, 50,000 rank. These are long tail. So these actually were really high ranks. This, one of them was like 230, 230,000 rank in music, which is super high, but it was going for like 30. So the risk and reward was there. This one was like 175, but there was no FBA sellers. So sometimes the rank will be up really high because there's no FBA sellers and people don't want to buy from merchants. So even if the rank's super high, if there's no FBA offer there, it gives me a little more confidence that if we bring it to the market via FBA, it will sell. But that's what I got. Any final words, mom, for the people watching? No, just keep going and sourcing. <laughs> How often are you going out sourcing nowadays? It, it depends. Definitely three days a week. I feel like you're out every day. Why are you telling everyone three days a week? I feel like you're out every single day. No. Three days a week. <laughs> Between three and five. It all just depends on what I have going on. Yeah, it was funny. Um, she typically frequents the same thrift stores, like the two main thrift stores in our area. And I was going on a little thrifting trip where I was going across the state the other day. And uh, I got to a Goodwill that my mom normally doesn't go to. And I got there right for opening at 9 a.m. And I got there like 9.02 and her car is there. And I'm like, what are you doing here? And she's like, I'm switching it up. I'm trying yeah. to new places and whatnot. Did you end up finding anything over there at the Bloomfield? Um, I think a couple items. Yeah. A couple books. That thrift store is kind of small. I don't know about yeah. you guys watching, but... There's thrift stores out there that are small and don't get a lot of great inventory. The two that you normally frequent are really good, but that, that one in Bloomfield's small and kind of... It used to do well, but yeah. not anymore. There's so many people sourcing.